All right, so here we have Undermine, the card game, and we're about to go ahead and start playing. We've got uh, two diamonds that we each start with, as well as the first player token, indicating that he's the first player. If there's multiple players, it would be in the location of where the player is sitting. With more players comes more of these cards, and then you'll just put the uh, position based on that player's uh, seating position, or maybe in turn order. We also have over here, these are all the different types of cards where you can gain actions from, and you place your little uh, diamond tokens in the specific spot where you're sitting in. For this game, we're just going to use John in the top right and me in the bottom left, we'll say. As well as over here, we've got our mines, and we just go ahead and put on our mines uh, little tokens on top of these guys for copper, gold, and iron. They can be put to the side. It doesn't really matter as long as you get them in the arm's reach of everybody. Over there to the far left is gallery, equipment, and opportunity cards. They all do different things. The equipment cards will help benefit you, and I believe you're going to win the game if you acquire seven points of them. Yeah, and the points about, well, once you get the equipment card into your hand, there's a cost listed down at the bottom, and it's points value. This one's worth two points. Uh, some of them also have an ability on them, which you get that ability as long as you have a construction. Yeah, throughout the game. The opportunity cards can give you something random throughout the game. And the gallery cards here just represent miners, and sometimes there's two or one of them, and that's when you gain gallery cards, you'll place them on either your side, or if it's your opponent, they'll place it on their side. So uh, I guess John will go ahead and place it on the right, and I'll place it on the left just to make things easier for everybody. Starting the game off with our two diamonds, we're going to go ahead and start placement. So uh, John is the first because he is the youngest player, so he gets to go first. And in order for me to take first player, I'll need to actually place a diamond here. So go ahead and John, take your first turn. I will get some diamonds first. All right. I will... Hmm... I will draw an opportunity card. Okay, your turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, I actually, because these all cost two diamonds, I do not have an action I can take. So I am done for the turn. All righty. Uh-oh. I can't take one of these now, can I? Nope. You can take first player, though. All right. I guess I'll do that. All right. After that, we go into our collection phase, which is pretty simple. You collect everything that you have placed. Oops. Sorry. I'm actually placing there. And so, uh, collection phase. I'll put this thing over here, and this has gone to the wasteland. And John will collect an extra diamond. So he gets two. Three. Two, right? And then you'll get one for your turn. Yeah. Well, you so said two. I get an extra diamond, so... Oh, so you collect two diamonds. Yeah. And then for me, I get my opportunity card. There we go. Ooh. And that's it. Okay, so the idea was you're going ahead and picking all these different little areas, which we've been doing so far, and placing them onto the, um, the boards to get uh, the galleries and stuff. Once you can get these galleries, then you can get these little copper mines. You put them right next to each other and acquire copper. And each one of these galleries is different that you're going to get. Some of them require one miner and some require two miners. And so that's what you missed out on. We just kind of been drawing these gallery cards, speeding up the tape a little bit for you guys. So you can see the real portion of the game, the really, the, the most um, active portion of the game, I would say, right? Which is towards the mid or end, when you start getting enough resources to build an equipment every turn or every other turn. I mean, if you build an equipment every turn, you're in pretty good shape. Especially because some of the ones have the abilities that make your stuff cost less, and they kind of snowball. Uh, so it's been a few turns, we've gone back and forth, and finally I'm actually building something. I will build my copper ore separator. It cost me two gold and one iron. So one iron, back to the bank, and two gold. I now have ore, or I guess more ore, or a separator. Alright, you're still first, and so gets... take your things off and go ahead. These back. I will take diamonds. All right. I will go for an opportunity and pray that you get something useful. Wait. Don't touch it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I will get another miner. Okay. And I will work my gold mine. I'll work my copper. All right. So you get your diamonds. I get diamonds. I get two copper. Opportunity uh, for me. 
these go away. I get my miners back. And my gold for the turn. And my one copper. Oops, I'll knock over now. I get my little miner back. All right. Mines are messy places. Your first yet again. Still. I will take diamonds. And then a gallery. I will. No, I'll stick with what I'm. That's it. I'm done. I'll just put the workers on. And I'm going to work my iron. Work it, work it. Work it, work it. Alright, so I'm first now. I get my one for the turn. Yep. I get my miners and my iron. You get your gallery. <gasps> Ooh, a shiny one. Actually, that's pretty perfect. Alrighty then. You're first this time. Yeah. Let me guess, you're taking diamonds? You bet. I'm going to take an equipment. And then... Oh, I get my dudes back. Yeah. Oh, I did I get my extra iron last round? I did not. So I'm getting an equipment. Yep. And I'll take an opportunity. I will work the copper mine. I will work... I wish these were ones. I will work... Iron? Alright. Get my diamonds. Opportunity card for you. Yep. Equipment card for you. Opportunity. Equipment. I get my miner back and the copper. I'm going to use my uh, opportunity to draw another equipment. I am then going to build. I'm going to build a control room, which costs me one copper and one iron, because it costs me one less copper. Uh -huh. So one iron and one copper. And that lets me recruit a miner. What? Yeah. Jeez. All right. And I will also build a pickaxe for one gold. Two iron. These guys go off. All right, and I get my equipment card, which needs to be a huge one. One point for one. And then I equipment. Yep. 
Um, play it out. I might have a shot here. Maybe I can stop you from building. I don't know. Mm, Actually, no. I have to go for an opportunity, I guess, then, if that's the case. Something like that. How many diamonds do you have? One more. I'll take diamonds, then. Just in case. First player. All right. So I get my equipment. I get first. And I get my three diamonds. I get my opportunity card. Oh, no. Oh, we didn't uh, mine. Yeah, we're not going to really need to, I don't think. But yeah, we can go I don't need to. We can do it. I'll take the two iron. I'll take two gold and a copper. Okay. Just been putting them on here. I'm removing one of your miners from the game. Oh, no. And I'm building. Yep. What do you got? Oh, my goodness. Excavator. So, two gold and two iron. Show it over here. All right, so you got more than enough points to win, and I came, I came uh, short by four points. But yeah, that's the idea Which of if, the game. If you had gotten this, you would have won. Dang it! <laughs> but that's the idea of the game, going uh, back and forth between each other. Little worker placement card game. A little bit of area control, I guess, or like board control, I suppose. Well, it's worker placement. Yeah. And the iron and copper you're trying to you're trying to earn the right to make these into spaces which is yeah. very interesting as well and these guys having equipment uh, uh abilities abilities are very interesting minus one gold to all my stuff plus one to all my mines oh, i didn't use that that much this game forgot about that the opponent received no mine during the collection phase that's pretty cool if you had gotten that earlier they would have screwed me over i think and then the elevator it's just a little basic one, which is what I end up getting. But yeah, that's the game. Undermine. This game's coming out pretty soon here. I think some of it's being shipped out. Really cool little game. I'll tell you guys what I think about it. So acquiring your equipment costs two diamonds. And basically what you want to do once you acquire one of these equipment cards is the bottom left is going to have the price, and the right-hand side is the amount of points you need to win the game. So once you acquire these pieces, you just spend the amount of mines required for them, and you put these down in front of you. And there's tons of different abilities these guys have. One is you get to recruit a miner instantly, which is what you got. Um, yeah, that one was quite nice. That let me get two, basically two diamonds ahead of you because, well, a miner costs two diamonds and takes a turn to build normally. But it only costs you, and it costs you two irons and a one two, iron. One, well, sorry, one iron, two copper. Then we got this guy. This, your equipment costs one less copper. Then you have one of each of these types of equipment. One less copper, one less, you know... Gold, uh, gold one less iron. iron. Yeah. Um, some of them is your, your opponent can't build, or you get plus one to your mine, mining galleries. And there's tons of them. There's tons of them. There's a lot of different values. One, two, three. So sometimes you get, just get lucky. That's just what he got. He got a big one like this one. And it gives you three points at the end there, which is really beneficial if you have the um, requirements to do so, the required mining yeah. uh, ore to do so. Um... I also got lucky a couple times with the opportunity cards. Um, I got a couple extra diamonds off of that, as well as a miner and an extra equipment card. So the opportunities play big into the game as well. If you can, I usually like to take an opportunity or the diamonds once per turn. One diamond for two diamonds. It's almost never a bad idea to, um, to go for your opportunity. Very rarely do you get something that's not very good. Um, let's and see. even then, it's still more resources to use. Yeah, there's only six cards in here that I think are technically less than a diamond, which is you can get ore, two gold, two copper, and uh, two iron. No, they're but, not. They're about the same price as a diamond because no, because takes... well, you have a trade card here that costs two ore for one diamond. Yeah, which means uh, one diamond is worth two ore. So if you get one ore, eh, I guess yeah. it's about half of a diamond. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, sometimes you can get two diamonds. Or removing an opponent's miner from the game did that to me twice. Oh, my gosh. Uh, like I said, I got a bit lucky with the opportunity cards. Draw one equipment card. Never got that. Never got draw two diamonds. Man, some of these are really good, though. Really interesting uh, op uh, opportunities that you can get. So it's very beneficial to go for that spot. We also usually haven't used, before used the trade spot that much. But it was actually becoming very beneficial, uh, especially mid to late game. Yeah, uh, as I was running out of diamonds, because the equipment cost two to build, or the miners cost two, two to build, I actually had enough resources piled up uh, that I could 
to actually trade the diamonds four diamonds two to one. Yeah. Man, but either way, uh, Undermine came coming out pretty soon. Just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how the game is played. Uh, forgive us if we uh, screwed up a little bit. A, a couple of the com more confusing things involve uh, for us, because we're not used to it, is play the placement of the first player token up here. Usually we would just put it in front of us, but it actually kind of makes sense to put it here. And depending on how many players you get, too. As well as um, securing these specific locations for with our diamonds and removing them and that, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also the three phases. One is the placement phase and then the collection, and then you can go about your building and stuff. What I was doing before was I would place and then collect as soon as I placed, but you can't do that. So. Yeah, it does make a lot, of, well, it makes a lot of a difference, not just a bit. Um, it's, when you're placing stuff, like if you collect your equipment before you place your miners, you can kind of telegraph what you're getting, or, not really telegraph. You can see what you need and build that that turn, and it's kind of cheating. Yeah. Um, we misplayed that our first playthrough. Um, we in this one we were also a little bit sloppy in how we were doing the turns, but it shouldn't make too much. I of a think difference. once after you you get the feel for the game, you understand how it functions. You you can take some liberties, especially like you can put copper on the copper mine. It just makes things a lot quicker. Or the collection phase, you can do it, um, you do your own and they do their own, as long as you all do it at the same time during the fa same phase, as long as you follow the rules. So that's kind of like a little house rule you can make throughout these games. And I think that's a fair thing to do, as long as everyone plays the exact same way, way and it follows the rules. So, but either way, that's, that is Undermine, a really cool little game, very interesting uh, worker placement, maybe like a mini worker placement almost. Because you can fit it all in even a box probably smaller than this. It was successful at Kickstarter too, correct? Yes, it was. And, it and that's should... why it's coming out. It's getting sent to the backers now. Ah, so the backers are getting it now. It's coming, they're coming, yep. All right. Again, Undermine. Yes, very good game. Appreciate taking a look at it. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough so you have an idea how to play the game yourself when you get it. And we look forward to seeing you next time.